Hey guys, so uh, this uh, RAM upgrade is not for the faint of heart, just as an FYI. Uh, there's a lot of parts here, and uh, you're going to want to take your time. All of these parts are made out of plastic, which is not the best construction in my opinion, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, begin by taking out all of your hard, hard drive trays. Uh, just slide those bad boys out, and you can see the inside of the NAS. Uh, taking a look around it, you'll find four Phillips head screws on the back side. So you're gonna wanna uh, remove those. So be kind of careful with them. Again, the uh, construction of these screws uh, left leaves a lot to be desired. They're pretty flimsy and you can strip them easily. So take your time, make sure you got the right size screwdriver and get those four Phillips screws off of there. From there, you'll find a lock symbol on the bottom. Uh, you're gonna want to slide the arrow past the lock symbol to the unlock symbol. Uh, that wasn't very intuitive for me, but uh, I had to figure it out. And be gentle here because there's, uh, again, a bunch of plastic clips and you can break off. Uh, so uh, be careful with that as you slide that off the back. Uh, then you'll see the inside of the NAS, and there's going to be a whole bunch more Phillips screws. Those four on the top, four on the bottom, and two more on the very top that you'll see here in a second. So uh, once you got those four on each side removed, take this uh, two screws off the top. And then uh, you'll be able to just go ahead and pull it out. Uh, you'll uh, pull the tray out, which is also being held in by a little uh, chip there. And then you can see the inside. There's two RAM bays. Uh, just pull the clips aside and pull the stock uh, one gig chip, chip out of there. And you're going to want to like angle the second slot in the back there. That was kind of tricky as well. You're going to need to angle it in because of the little metal flap in the way. So... Uh, line your upgradable RAM back up according to the correct uh, pin size. Just angle it in and push down until it clips in place. And uh, again, with that back slot, just be a little bit careful because you're going to have to angle it in uh, from the inside. So that was a little bit tricky, but there you have it. Both RAM slots are full, and you can put the tray back in, pushing the chip into place. And then go ahead and screw back in the four Phillips on the bottom, the two on the top, and the four on the other side. From there, you're going to want to find that lock symbol again. Slide your casing on uh, to the unlock position, and, and uh, then you're going to slide it to the lock position. So be careful. As you can see, uh, I didn't have my uh, case lined up properly. Just make sure everything is lined up nice and even and flat first, and then go ahead and slide that back into place. And from there, uh, your case for your QNAP is put back together, and you can go ahead and put the last remaining screws back in on the back side. Again, uh, slightly hairy install, but uh, there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this how-to. Please remember to thumbs up and like.